Assalamualaikum Anda bersama saya Madam Adeline Ok hari ini kita akan belajar Chapter 3 Momentum dan Impulse Ok so, kita tengok dulu Equation Ok apa dia P equal to MV P itu apa? Momentum Ok J Impulse equal to F Delta T Ok, ini adalah apa? Impulse Momentum Theorem. J equal delta P equal to P final tolak P initial. Ok, kita ada conservation of linear momentum. Total P initial equal total P final. Dan juga kinetic energy. Ok. Alright, kita tengok dulu first question. Ok, read together. A 8 kg body move towards the west with a momentum of 30 kg meter per second. Okay, ni adalah initial momentum kita ya. Okay, a 20 newton force to the east acts on the body for a period of 5 seconds. Okay, determine the magnitude and direction of the impulse of the force. The change in the momentum of the body, the final momentum of the body, and the final velocity of the body. Okay, so macam mana kita nak buat? Okay, kita sketch dulu kita punya uh, direction north, west, east, and south. Okay, I'll, I'll check kita body kita move to the west. Okay, with the initial momentum. 30 kg meter per second, per second. Ok, then lepas tu dia bergerak to the east. Ok, the force add to the body adalah 20 newton within 5 second. Soalan pertama kita nak cari impulse. Ok, J ni adalah apa? Symbol for impulse. Ok, formula of the impulse is J equal to F delta D. Ok. So, we can substitute the F ni, nampak? Ok, 20, 20. Ok, so substitute the T, 5 second. Ok, then we get the J, uh, 100 Newton second. Ok, alright. So, uh, magnitude dia adalah 100 Newton second. Newton second is the unit of the J. Ok, direction ke mana? To east, ok. Alright, next kita cari apa pula? Okay, the change in the momentum of the body. Okay, so kita ada satu theorem yang kita panggil sebagai apa? Impulse Momentum Theorem. Okay, ingat eh? Impulse Momentum Theorem. Okay, J equal delta P. Bermaksud kat situ, impulse equal change in momentum. The, okay, so we substitute J berapa? 100. Okay, then kita dapatlah terus uh, change in momentum kita is 100 Newton second to the is. Okay. C, apa dia? Okay, the final momentum of the body. Ha. Okay, tadi kita dah ada. Okay, kita dah cari pun ya. Eh. Okay, nilai change in momentum. So macam mana sekarang kita nak cari final momentum? Senang je. Okey. Kita tahu J equal delta P. Delta P ni adalah change in momentum. Okey, apa change in momentum? Yaitu P final, momentum final tolak P initial, momentum initial. Okey, so we substitute sajalah. Nilai J kita tadi 100. Okey, nampak 100. Okay, P final lah kita nak cari tolak P initial negatif 30. Eh, kenapa negatif 30? Sedangkan kita tahu initial momentum kita tadi 30 sahaja. Why? Okay, tengok kat sini. Body kita bergerak ke mana? Move to the west. Ha, direction west tu kat mana? Left. So, we put the negative sign. Okay, magnitude betul lah 30. Tapi sebab direction dia to the west ataupun to the left. So, kita letaklah negatif. So, ketekanlah calculator. 
Okey, kita dapatlah P final kita 70 kg meter per second to the east. Boleh? Okey. Next question apa? The final velocity of the body. Okey, V final. Okey, senang je sebab kita tadi dah cari apa? Ingat tak? Final moment. Um, ok, so kalau kita nak cari final velocity, kita gunalah persamaan P equal to MV di mana P yang kita nak cari, uh, kita dapat dari P final. Ok, so we substitute lah. Ha, nilai dia berapa? 70. Kita substitute mass kita is 8. Ok, V dan kita dapat V kita is 8 meter per second to the east. Ok, boleh? Kita teruskan lagi, ha? Eh? Ok. Ok, soalan kedua. Next question. Ok, read. Ok, the A 1.5 kg block moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. Ok, kita nampak block yang pertama. Bergerak dengan velocity ataupun initial velocity berapa? 10 meter per second. Collides with a 3 kg block at rest. Okey, ini adalah second block kita. Okey, di mana dia berada at rest. Di mana U dia sama dengan ko, kosong. Okey, the block stick and move together after the collision. Calculate the A. Common velocity of the blocks after the collision. Okay, nak apa ni? Final velocity selepas collision. Okay, B. Ratio of the final kinetic energy to the initial kinetic energy of the system. Okay. Alright, mula kita ada satu objek. Okay, dia bergerak dengan initial velocity time meter per second. Di mana second object kita, okay, at rest. So, U2 is 10 meter, sorry, 0 meter per second. Then, dua object ni berlanggar dan bergerak bersama sama. Okay, macam mana kita nak cari velocity? Okay, so kita gunalah conservation of linear moment. Um, okay, total P initial equal total P final. So, ini adalah konsep dia lah. So, please, please. Okay, tulis. Okay, jangan malas untuk tulis. Okay. Dan kita akan tulis setelah formula dia. Kita ada dua objek, nampak? Ada dua objek. Okay, so formula for momentum kan MV. Now, sebab E ni, so kita gunalah U. So, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equal. Okay, after collision, the object is stick and move together. So, satu velocity sahajalah. So, kita add the mass M1 plus M2 times V. Okay, M darab V momentum lah. Okay, so, substitute M1 1.5. U1 is 10, M2 is 3, U2 is 0. You add up 1.5 plus 3 times V. Okay, tekan kalkulator, you akan dapat V equal 3.33 meter per second. Okay, boleh? Okay, next. Okay, sama sahaja. Apa yang kita nak cari untuk V ni adalah ratio kinetic energy final to the kinetic energy E. Initial. Okay, first kita kena carilah dulu. Apa kinetic energy initial? Apa kinetic energy final? So, from the equation of the kinetic energy, half mv squared. Okay, kita substitute lah. Okay, kita ada dua objek kan? So, kita ambil lah satu-satu nilai tu. Setengah m1 u1 squared plus setengah m2 u2 squared. Okay, substitute lah. m1 is 1.5, u1 is 10. M2 is 3, U2 is 0. So, we get kinetic energy initial sama dengan 75 Joule. Unit of energy is Joule. Eh? Okay, dan kita calculate pula. Okay, uh, total kinetic energy final. Okay, so setengah MV squared. So, M sebab dia 
uh, stick together. So, kita tambahlah M1 plus M2. And the velocity is only satu saja velocity. Iaitu berapa tadi kita cari? 3.33. Okay, statistik semua dapatlah. Kinetic energy final sama dengan berapa? 24.95 Joule. Okey, bila kita cerita pasal ratio bermaksud bahagi. Divide. Eh? Okey, so dia nak ratio kinetic energy final to the kinetic energy initial. So, nilai final kita 24.95 bahagi divide dengan nilai Uh, initial 75 then we get 0.33 tiada unit ya yeah? no unit no unit sebab ni unit joule joule kita dah cancel out ok boleh ok kita teruskan untuk next question boleh ok next question ya eh? ok figure 1 belongs to an object Jack having mass 2 kg and velocity 10 meter per second. Okay, it move on a horizontal surface. If the force is applied to this object, calculate total impulse acting on the object, the final velocity of the object. Okay, so ini adalah figure 1 kita. So, ini adalah graph force against time. Okay, boleh nampak lah eh. <coughs> Force again, time. Okay, macam mana kita nak cari impulse daripada graph? Tadi kita cari impulse daripada formula. Okay, for the form, uh, <coughs> graph, to find the J ataupun impulse is equal to area under FT graph. Area under FT graph. Okay, ingat lagi tak macam mana kita nak cari area the shape? Okey, kalau kita tengok the graph, kita ada beberapa shape. Okey, ini adalah shape apa ni? Triangle. Shape apa? Rectangular. Okey, ini shape apa? Triangle. Ini pun triangle. Okey, so kita tambah semua area ni. Okey, cuba tengok area yang pertama ni. Okey, area triangle apa dia? Half, setengah, kali tinggi, kali lebar. Okey, tinggi dia 6, lebar dia 1. Okey, untuk rectangular, tinggi kali lebar. Tinggi dia berapa? 6. Lebar dia berapa? 3 tolak 1, so 2. Okey, yang ni pula apa? Triangle kan? Okey, setengah kali tinggi kali lebar. Setengah kali tinggi berapa? 6. Lebar dia berapa? 5 tolak 3, 2. Okey, tengok ini pun triangle juga. Okey, setengah kali tinggi. Tinggi dia berapa nilai dia? Se negative 2. Negative 2. Okey, negative 2 daripada 0. 2, negative 2. Okey, dia punya lebar berapa? 7 tahun 5, 2. Okey. So, kita substitute lah. Ha, ni. Ha, Okey, dah dapat. Okey, tekan calculator. Dapatlah J kita. 19 kg per second. Ataupun unit lain adalah Newton cell. Second. Boleh? Okay. Then, kita nak cari final velocity. So, kita dah ada J. Dan, kita dah tadi dah belajar. Impulse momentum. Theorem. J equal delta P. Okay, J equal P final tolak P initial. P final tu apa? Momentum final tolak momentum A. So, ini adalah formula dia lah. MV tolak MU. Ok, so kita substitute lah. J kita 19. Mass 2. V tolak mass 2. U. U tu apa? Initial velocity. Sama dengan 10. So, dapatlah V kita 19.5 meter per second. Ingat eh, kita wajib tulis unit. Tu, wajib tulis U. Unit. So, V kita 19.5 meter per second. Okay. Boleh lagi ke kalau kita nak sambung next question? Boleh. Bagus. Anda semua. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Mari kita baca sama-sama. Panjang pula soalan kali ni. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer who has a mass of 50 kg 
is riding at 35 meter per second in her red sports car when she must suddenly slam on the brakes to avoid hitting a deer crossing the road. She strike the airbag that brings her body to a stop in 0.5 seconds. What average force does the seat belt exert on her? Ah, tengok eh. Kalau kita pakai seat belt macam mana dengan tak pakai seat belt? If Jennifer had not been wearing her seat belt and not had an airbag, then the windshield would have stopped her head in 0.002 seconds. What average force would the windshield have exerted on her? Okay, macam mana kita nak buat? Okay lah, ni ha dia. Ha, duduk dalam red spot car. Okay, mass dia 50 kg. Ini sebelah CP 30 meter per second. Okay, dia stop lah bila dia slam to the dia. Okay, T dia 0.5 second. Okay. Alright, kita nak cari apa? Average force yang exert on her. Okay, so kita guna persamaan impulse iaitu FD. Tetapi dalam kes ni kita tak ada J. Kita tak ada nilai impulse. Kita ada nilai velocity sahaja. Okay, so by using the impulse momentum theorem, J itu delta P sama dengan FD kita ambil balik. So delta P kita final tolak initial. So saya arrange sedikit. Dapatlah M, V minus U. Sama dengan FT. Then we can substitute the mass is 50. V final velocity kan. Bila the slam tu, still the stop kan. So nilai dia kosong. U kita adalah 35. So F kita tak tahu lagi. T kita 0.5 second. So the average force equal to negative 3500 Newton. Nampak tak? Ha, walaupun... Uh, dalam 0.5 second, force yang exit on uh, Jennifer tadi, negatif 3500 besar. So, maksudnya bahaya tak kalau aksiden bahaya. So, pastikan you pakai seatbelt eh, untuk mengurangkan impak aksiden. Okay. Okay, next question. Kalau you tak pakai seatbelt, what happen? Uh, adakah lagi okay? Mari kita tengok eh, yang force as it on her. Baiklah. Okay, kita guna a formula yang sama. J itu FT. Okay, guna juga okay, impulse momentum theorem. J itu delta P. Ikut the FT. When we substitute the M is 50. P 0. U 35. F is FT 0.002. Okay, maksudnya... Um, time contact lagi uh, sekejap eh, bila dia kena windshield tu kan ok so apa yang berlaku uh, F yang add on the uh, Jennifer on Jennifer is negative 8750 Newton 87500 compare dengan 3500 Mana lagi bahaya, you pakai seatbelt ke, you tak pakai seatbelt bila accident. Ha, tengoklah. Okay, so ingat bila kita drive, okay, please, please wear seatbelt. Dan pastikan airbag untuk sesuatu kereta uh, berfungsi dengan baiklah. Okay, untuk mengurangkan, mengurangkan impak selepas accident. Okay. Okay, sambung lagi question number 5. Okay, read together. Object A of mass 8 kg moving at 4 meter per second collides with another object B of mass 6 kg moving at 5 meter per second in the opposite direction. Okay, nampaklah kita ada dua objek A dan B. Satu... Uh, bergerak mungkin ke kanan atau ke kiri, kanan nak kata-kata kan ok, objek B kita bergerak dengan uh, opposite direction so mungkin ke kiri ok <coughs> after the collision objek A move opposite to its initial direction at 0.1 meter per second kalau tadi kita kata objek A bergerak ke kanan so bila dia, bila dia collect dia bergerak ke kiri ok, so A 
what is the velocity of B after, after the collision? We show that the collision is inelastic. Okay, inelastic. Okay. Macam mana kita nak buat? Okay, kita sketch lah dulu eh. Okay, okay. Ada satu objek. Mass A. Okay. Ni objek A lah. Mass dia A kg. Okay, bergerak move to the right. Okay, U dia adalah 4 meter per second. Okay, bergerak. Okay. Kita ada objek B. Okay, mass 6 kg. Okay. Move to the left. Okay, so UB kita negatif lah ya. Negatif 5 meter per second. Okay. <coughs> what happen bila dia collide? Okay. A bergerak ke kiri. Uh, B kita tak tahu. Okay, A bergerak ke kiri dengan V A dia negatif 0.1 meter per second. V B, you tak tahu. So, kena cari. Cari. Okay. So, macam mana kita nak cari? Kita guna conservation of linear momentum. Okay. Okay. Tolonglah tulis ya konsep ni. Total. P initial equal total P final. Okay. So, dia punya um, formula dia M1 ataupun MA lah. Silap pula ya. MA UA plus MBUB ataupun M1 U1, M2 U2. Okay, tak kisahlah mana-mana lah ya. Okay, M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Okay, kita substitute eh. M1 kita ataupun MA kita is 8. U1 ataupun UA kita 4. M2 ataupun MB kita 6. U2 ataupun UB kita negative 5 sebab in opposite direction. Okay. Alright. Untuk final pula, M1 kita ataupun MA is 8. V1 ataupun VA is negative 0.1. M2 ataupun MB kita 6. V2 atau VB kita tak tahu. Okay. Tekan calculator. Dapatlah VB kita 0.47 meter per second. So, nampak tak positif. Okay, nilai dia positif. So, kalau nilai positif bermaksud objek kita bergerak ke mana? To the right. Okay, boleh ha? Okay, opposite of its initial direction to the right. Okay, lepas tu kita nak show whether this collision is it. Elastic collision. Kena tahu condition-condition dia. Okay, for in elastic condition, kita ada condition dia. Macam kita nak tahu, ingat tak lagi? Okay, for in elastic collision, okay, in elastic collision eh. Alright, beza dia dengan elastic collision is total kinetic and G is not conserved. Total kinetic NG is not conserved. Apa maksud dia? Okay, kalau kita kira total kinetic energy, initial dan uh, <coughs> initial dan final, nilai dia mesti tak, tak sama. Okay, nilai dia mesti tak sa, sama. Okay, so mari kita buat. Okay, total kinetic initial equal total kinetic energy final. Okay, kita masuklah semua formula. Setengah MAUA squared plus setengah MBUB squared equal setengah MAVA squared plus setengah MBVB squared. Okay, setujuk setengah uh, 8, 4 squared plus setengah 6, negative 5 squared equal half 8, negative 0.1 squared plus half 6, 0.47 squared. Okay. So, dari sini kita nampak nilai kinetic energy for initial is 139 joule. 139 joule. Okay, tapi for final kinetic energy, nilai dia cuma 0.703 joule. 0.703 joule. Sama tak? Tak sama. So, kita dah proof. Okay, 
This collision is in elastic collision because kinetic energy initial is not conserved. So it's not the same as kinetic energy final. Okay, ah, dah boleh faham dah chapter 3 ni? Alhamdulillah. So, thank you. That's all for today.